Greetings from the IDI Makino Knowledge Center here at the Makere Main Campus in Kampala, Uganda. My name is Dr. Andrew Kambuku and I am the Executive Director for the IDI. Everyone has things that keep them awake at night. Particularly, every CEO has things that keep them awake at night. One of the things that keep me awake at night as the leader of an organization that has over 4,000 staff is the health and safety of our teams. Our teams are located here in Kampala, but as far away as Karamoja, West Nile, Masaka and other regions. We are engaged in the all-important work of making sure that communities are safe from the ravages of infectious diseases. But who is taking care of our teams? April 28th, World Over, is marked as the World Day for Safety and Health at the Workplace. This year's theme is centered around the impact of climate change on occupational safety and health for workers. We at the Institute have focused our energy over the last 12 months to ensure that our staff are safe in all the aspects of work while they come work and while they go back home and in the communities in which we assist across the country and outside the borders of Uganda. In 2022, IDI Senior Management hired a consultant to develop the OHS Occupational Health Safety and Safeguarding Policy and that policy clearly stipulated what IDI was to actually do in order to actualize the implementation of the policy. So the policy, one of the things to form Occupational Health and Safety Committee, which was actually formed, and the committee was to oversee all the activities of staff safety within the institute. And the police also guided that we should recruit two occupational health and safety expertise whom we have actually recruited to help implement the action plan of the policy. As IDI, we're building a management system in which we are ensuring that all our staff are working safely by managing um, incidents through understanding how to report, how to investigate and how to prevent in the future. We also have uh, a management system that enables everybody to be interacting with us at all times through our OHSE champions or our representatives at all departments uh, and at all workstations. These representatives have been trained, they have been equipped and they're doing a wonderful job. Over the last few weeks we've just completed training for first aiders across the institute. Almost 120 of our staff have been given the requisite skills and certified as first aiders. This means if there is a situation, a health emergency, we can call upon these 120 people to help make sure that those in an emergency situation get the first aid they need. There was an issue of impact on climate change and health and safety as a theme. And to actually make sure that we try to align ourselves with, this, with that theme. We've also implemented um, efforts to reduce our carbon footprint, like the launch of the uh, electronic vehicle that was done in October 2023. And this will help us reduce our reliance on vehicles that use fossil fuels. However, there always remains a big challenge for us to build proactiveness, a culture where safety comes first in everything we do, where safety is a top mind now. Let us reaffirm our commitment to advancing um, a workplace that is free of incidents and safe across all our workstations. Safety does not happen by accident. It takes a collective effort for, for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy um, World Health and Safety Day. I'd like to wish everyone a, a happy World and Safety Day. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. And I want to wish you a Happy World Day for Safety.